the demonstration, I have already loaded the system requirements page. Blender is free and open source. Blender 2.59 works on nearly all operating systems. For this tutorial, I am using Windows XP operating system. Different can help to increase rendering speed while the speed of the Blender interface, viewport, and real time engine is influenced by the speed of the graphics card. Fast and large hard drives can also speed up work when dealing with large video files. As you can see, the Blender organization shows hardware specifications for three sections of usage minimum, good, and production level. The minimum hardware specifications required to run Blender are 1 GHz single core CPU, 512 MB RAM with 16 bit color, 3 button mouse, open GL graphics card with 64 MB RAM. The good specification level includes multi core CPU, 8 to 16 GB RAM, 2 times 1920 by 1200 pixels display with 24 bit color, 3 button mouse plus tablet, open GL graphics card with 1 GB RAM, ATI 5GL or NVIDIA Quattro. To make sure you meet any one of the specified levels, you need to check your watching this tutorial. We shall learn what is 3D program, how to add new objects to the 3D view in Blender using the 3D cursor, and the snapping options for 3D cursor in Blender. I assume that you already know how to install Blender on your system. If not, please refer to our only tutorials on installing the blender. The 3D cursor is the red and white grain with the crosshair that you see at the center of the blender screen. Let us see the 3D cursor in blender. To do that, we need to open blender. There are two ways to open blender. First, go to the blender icon on the desktop. Right click the blender icon. Let's click open. The second and easier way to open blender is let's double click the blender icon on the desktop. This is blender 2.59. Multiple things 
a version of the game on the same site. And yet, have complete control over the visual presentation of your website data. When raised, if you need help, there's a helpful community around Google, and it is huge. There are Drupal events all around the world. Local events are called Drupal Camps, and every year there are major Drupal forums all around the world. There are very active forums, user groups, and IRC chats dedicated to Drupal support. And the night, there are some very large and experienced companies around Drupal. Axia, part of the company, is the largest Drupal company. In India, there are more than 60 Drupal service companies, over 1.2 million websites at the time of this recording. Drupal rises an overview of this Drupal series. This video is adapted from Axia, an OS training, and devised by Spoken Tutorial Project, IIT Bombay. The video and the following link summarizes the Spoken Tutorial Project. Please don't know what you're watching. Mm -hmm. The Spoken Tutorial team conducts workshops and gives certificates to those who pass online tests. For more details, please write to us. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NSEIC, Ministry of Infrastructure Development, and NDLI, Ministry of Culture, Government of India. This is Basha Vanikesh signing off. For this tutorial, you will need a working internet connection to install the latest version from the web. Or you may be provided with the required local files. You should also have a machine installed with either Ubuntu Linux or Windows operating system. To follow this tutorial, you should be familiar with either of the mentioned operating systems. There are many ways to install Drupal. For this tutorial, I will use Bignami Drupal Stack as this is a very simple installation method. Let's open our preferred web browser and go to the URL shown. Scroll down and check installers for Windows and Linux operating system. You have to choose the installer as per your operating system. As I am a Linux user, I The content available in various tutorials in the series. What is HTML? HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. It is used to create web pages with the help of markup tags. Markup tags will structure our content as per our requirement. It is used to publish our content on the internet. HTML supports text, images, multimedia content, etc. It is platform independent and hence works on all operating systems. To work with HTML, we need a text editor or a PCD editor in which to write our HTML code and understand the HTML tags. We have the browser to display the formatted content. Throughout the series, I will be using HTML5, GPT Text Editor, Firefox Web Browser, and Ubuntu Linux 16.04 operating system. Now, we will briefly go through some of the individual tutorials the series. See the output on a web browser. In the next tutorial, we will learn about HTML elements, tags, and their attributes. The next tutorial is formatting tags.